What I'm going to be demonstrating in this video goes hand in hand with a video I did last week. Last week I did a video, if memory serves, was titled, You Have to Learn This Lightroom Trick. In that video, I demonstrated a one-click method to brush and mask a very specific area of an image. Well, recently I did engagement photos for my oldest son, Anthony Jr. And I used that technique to soften skin. And I really have to say it was a game changer. Typically, when you want to soften skin, you would get a brush in Lightroom. You would uh, set the adjustments so you'd be softening skin and you'd have to paint everywhere on their skin. You would avoid, of course, would avoid the hair, the eyebrows, often the lips and the eyes. And it's time consuming, especially when you're doing engagement photos and there's two people in every single shot. Well, this one click method worked great. But what I found was sometimes it takes a little bit more than one click. Uh, if the uh, subject is very evenly lit and their skin is very evenly toned, one click, it works every time. And fortunately, as far as my son and his fiance were concerned, it most often just took one click. But sometimes it takes a little bit more. So I wanted to show you all the different scenarios and how you would soften skin. But it's still a time saver. And because of that, it's a game changer in my opinion. So I have this image here. This obviously isn't an engagement photo. It's an Adobe stock photo. If you're interested in seeing that engagement photo and what I'm talking about, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see one of the images there. All right. So if you remember from that video I did last week, um, it's a brush technique. So we're going to go up to the brush and I should add nothing was done to this image. I didn't do any processing at all. Typically if I was doing, um, a, uh, processing a portrait, the first thing I would do was remove blemish with the blemishes with the spot removal tool. But in this case, I didn't even do that. So we're just going to just do the skin softening. Now you probably know by now that there are two presets for skin softening. If we click the drop down, you can see that there's softened skin and softened skin light. I prefer to use softened skin light. So we're going to pick that. Next, we're going to go down here and I'm going to take feathering all the way down and I'm going to click on auto mask. That's the trick really is auto mask. Now, what we need to do is just have this preview smaller. And over here in the left-hand column, you can see we're in fit mode now. We want, we want, what we want is 1 to 8. If you don't see 1 to 8 right there, click the little drop-down and choose 1 to 8. So now we have the smaller image. Now what we need to do is just get a brush that totally covers the part we want the brush to affect. In this case, her skin. So I got a brush that's big enough to cover all of her skin. And I'm going to click one time. Oh, by the way, on the bottom in the toolbar, you'll see I have show selected mask overlay turned on. So you'll see in red where this brush is affecting or affecting, I should say. So I'm going to click once, click. Now you can see the red overlay it's showing it's affecting her skin. It's not totally even though it's a little blotchy. This is where that second click comes in. What you need to do now is just go to an area that isn't as affected and click right there. Two clicks we're affecting all her skin. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to go back to fit. So we're fitting it. Now you can see that it affected a little bit of her hair over here on the left and on the right. And it left her eyes out a little bit, maybe right in there. So to further refine this, we may have to do a third click. Now you may not have to do that second or third click in all, click in all uh, situations, but in this case we do. So we're going to go to the range mask. And we're going to click color. We're going to get the eyedropper and we're going to click on her skin right there. And you can see now it removed most of it from her hair and it removed much of it from her lips and from her eye, but that's much better. Now I'm going to turn the overlay off by hitting the O key on my keyboard. So there's our model with her softened skin. Um, there's before and there's after. That's why I prefer this lighter method. It's not as heavy handed as the other. Now I could um, turn it up. I could bring clarity more. I can make it even stronger, let's say. So there's before and there's after. So you could see how it mainly affected her skin. Um, I have it turned up higher than I normally would have it. I just want to make sure you see it. 
So what we could do is just remove it from where we don't want it. We'll click the erase brush and we don't want it on our hair on the ed edges there. And it just got a little bit of her lip over in here. We'll take it away from there because we don't want it on her lips. And it got kind of the corner of her eye in here. We'll take it away from there as well. And that's it. We're done. I, I tell you, it was a real game changer when I did my son Anthony's engagement photos. Um, it was just so fast to do this. So I hope this helps you better soften the skin of your models or subjects when you're taking um, any type of photo from engagement photos, graduation photos, wedding photos, just photos of the family, whatever you're doing. It just really is a great method. And to me, it really was a game changer. Now I'm going to come in and make this more acceptable to me. I don't like it that, that crazy strong. Something more like that. I don't want them to look like blurry plastic dolls. I want them to look like themselves. So that's that. I just wanted to share that with you. I was so excited doing his engagement photos because it was just so easy and so fast. And again, you can check out my Instagram. You can get an idea what I was talking about. And thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>